What's a pipe bomb? How lethal is it? What are the effects of such an improvised explosive device? What are the relevant security measures and safety distances? Hello and welcome to ICAO, the Arms Control Center. I am Professor Theodore Liolios and in this short tutorial I will briefly answer all the above questions in very simple words. A pipe bomb is a crude improvised explosive device usually a short section of steel water pipe or some other metallic cylinder containing some explosive mixture which is tightly sealed at both ends with steel or brass caps. A fuse is then inserted into the pipe through a hole in the capped end of the pipe. To increase the amount of injury, the bomber may add sharp objects inside the pipe such as lock nuts, nails or broken glass which act as shrapnel. Although any kind of explosives can be used to fill the pipe, high explosives such as TNT and the detonators they require are difficult to find. Therefore, the pipe bomb builders usually resort to more common explosives such as the propellant from shotgun ammunition. For security reasons, we will not give more information about the design of a pipe bomb, but we will focus instead on the effects of its explosion and the relevant security measures. When the fuse ignites the explosive material inside the pipe, the following main results may occur. The pressure generated inside the pipe can rupture the casing, creating shrapnel which travel outwards from ground zero at fast speeds, causing injuries and damages. If the gas pressure buildup is too slow, then the pipe bomb may not explode, but instead burn away, allowing hot gases and unburned filler to escape from the ends of the pipe. Finally, if its design is faulty, the pipe bomb may not ignite at all, such a bomb is called a dud, and it remains dangerous since it can still explode later without any warning. A pipe bomb can be used as a hand grenade thrown against its target, it can be used as a, as a time bomb planted close to its target, and finally it can be used as a booby trap which is triggered by the presence or actions of the victim. Once located, a pipe bomb should not be dismantled, as any mistake could trigger an explosion. Since dismantling the pipe bomb is virtually forbidden, the typical method of disarming the pipe bomb is to relocate it to a remote area where it can be safely destroyed by experienced bomb disposal personnel. Only authorized law enforcement and bomb disposal personnel should be allowed to approach and handle the explosive device. Let's now define the minimum evacuation distances associated with a pipe bomb. Once a pipe bomb is located, all people should assume a safety distance from the bomb until authorized bomb disposal personnel relocates the bomb to a safe area. We call that distance minimum evacuation distance, and we define it as a range in which a life-threatening injury from blast or fragmentation hazards is unlikely. However, even at such distances, non-life-threatening injuries may occur. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security classifies minimum evacuation distances into two major categories. Building evacuation distance, which is 70 feet, roughly 21 meters, and outdoor evacuation distance, which is 1200 feet, roughly 365 meters. Building evacuation distances apply to people who are inside buildings, while outdoor evacuation distances apply to people who are outdoors, in the streets or in an open field. People inside buildings, which shield them from a pipe bomb, are provided with a high degree of protection from death or serious injury 
in case of a pipe bomb explosion. For such people, we apply building evacuation distances, evacuating them to a distance of 70 feet, 21 meters away from the pipe bomb. However, glass breakage and building debris may still cause some injuries. Therefore, whenever a pipe bomb is found in a building, it is advisable to evacuate the entire building floor and at least the adjacent ones. On the other hand, if there are people who are in the vicinity of a pipe bomb and cannot enter a building to seek shelter, they should be evacuated to the outdoor evacuation distance, which is 1,200 feet, 365 meters away from the pipe bomb. Realistic tests have shown that in a typical pipe bomb explosion, fragment throw distances were on average within a radius of 100 meters. For purposes of illustration, we will assume now that the Boston Marathon bombs were pipe bombs instead of pressure cooker bombs, which was actually the case. We pinpoint on the satellite map the ground zero of the first explosion, and we plot two overlapping concentric circular areas centered on ground zero. The yellow circular area has a radius equal to the outdoor evacuation distance, that is 1,200 feet, 365 meters, while the red circular area, which is smaller, has a radius not expected to be exceeded by realistic pipe bomb fragment trajectories. At first sight, the outdoor evacuation distance for pipe bombs defined by the Department of Homeland Security seems unrealistically large. If such a pipe bomb had been found close to the Boston Marathon finish line, according to the proposed outdoor evacuation distances, many Boston city blocks should have been evacuated, causing unnecessarily many exaggerated financial and psychological impacts. Although the much more realistic 100 meter red color evacuation area would suffice for pipe bombs, our arms control center advises that the DHS standards should be applied in all cases if possible. Thank you for watching our short tutorial on pipe bomb effects and safety measures. Please remember that ICAO, the Hellenic Arms Control Center, protects your lives and assets in Greece, Cyprus and the Balkans.